Hey guys, I'm Andrew Polino with The Sandbox, and this is the Structure I.O. Kit. This kit allows you to create 3D scans of objects, people, and places in a process that's pretty straightforward and user-friendly. I'm going to show you how to do it, and we're going to be using an iPad Air 2 with a structure sensor attached uh, with this bracket, and the main app for scanning is going to be It Sees 3D. Okay, first of all, uh, you'll want to make sure that both the iPad and the structure are fully charged. Uh, each, each of these, the iPad and the structure, run on their own battery power, so they have to be charged separately, and they each have different chargers or adapters for it. And when both of them are charged and ready, uh, just plug the small white cable from the structure into the main port on the iPad. And let's get set up. Now the first thing we want to do is calibrate the structure I.O. to give the best possible performance in the place you're scanning. And for that, we're going to use the Calibration app. Okay, now for the best results, the app recommends you calibrate and scan in a sunlit room. And it wants to kind of look around the room and pause every uh, couple of steps so it can uh, gather some data. It's looking for a space with a lot of depth and a variety of colors and objects in the background. And here, you're going to need to use the touch screen on the iPad to line up that color-coded uh, depth view from the structure with the image from the iPad camera. Now, since the structure's eye and the camera on the iPad aren't in the same spot, they've got kind of an offset, you're never going to get a 100% perfect match on the entire frame. But you'll want to make sure that either the foreground or the background line up as close to perfect as possible, depending, of course, on what you're scanning. Once we're ready, you can close out a calibration, open up the app we're going to use to scan with, It Sees 3D. Now, as you can see from the sample models here, this app takes really detailed scans. It's got a really sharp eye for colors and textures, and you can view them from all sides right here in the app. And you can also share them on other platforms, uh, which we'll talk more about later. But when you're ready to scan, uh, first of all, make sure that the object or person or the uh, portion of the room that you're going to scan is lit from all sides and has as few shadows as possible because that'll throw a scanner off. And just as important, make sure you have plenty of room to circle all the way around your target and cover them from every possible angle. Give yourself room to work. All right, when you're ready, hit new scan. And these are the options that'll come up. Bust, which is uh, from the head uh, down to the shoulders. Full body scan object or environment and that'll allow you to scan part of a room. I emphasize part because a piece of a room is very very difficult to scan. And on the main screen you'll see this cube here. Um, now that cube, the inside of the cube, represents the volume of the space that the structure is going to scan. So you want that cube big enough to fully cover the object you're scanning, uh, so you can see that color-coded view there, but not with too much extra space. And to adjust it, uh, the same way you would zoom in the camera on the iPad, uh, use the touch screen, two fingers, pinch, and um, spread apart to zoom. So when you're ready, uh, hit the start button. And right away you'll see that this white mesh generates where we're pointing. So the app is showing you exactly what the scanner is picking up. And it's going to build on it as we uh, give it more information here. And we're going to go all the way around the object until it's completely filled in. Now you want to take your time on this. Go slow. Uh, pause every once in a while. Give it time to process. Also, you want to note that little ring at the bottom here. It's divided into ten segments. Um, and that shows just how many different angles you're covering and what you still have left to cover. The app will tell you if you're going too fast or you need to backtrack because it's gotten out of alignment and has to go back to you know where it was last easily working. You'll notice that after a while it starts to count down. Uh, there's a time limit. You should have a little trouble uh, covering each side by then.
And when you're finished, hit the Done button. And this will take you back to the main menu. Now you'll see the object you, ju you just scanned right there at the top of the list. You want to select that. And of these two processing options, hit Cloud Processing, uh, which gives you the higher quality scan. This will allow you to upload the image at its best possible resolution via an online server. So you'll need to make sure that the iPad's Wi-Fi is connected to the internet before you um, select Cloud Processing. All right, upload it like the app says. It'll take about five to 15 minutes or so, depending on the size of the file. And there you have it, a fully processed 3D scan, which you can view right here in the app gallery. And that is how to use the Structure I.O. Now I'll show you how to upload and share your finished scans to the web, and how to embed the objects for interactive viewing in the workflow tutorial. Thanks for watching.